What's up, Kingdom Crew? I'm the King Achilles, and today we are opening up the Evolution tins that just came out pretty recently. Really excited they got here. I want to get them sooner for you, but they just arrived today. And unfortunately, the Bolton V box that I ordered was not included in the, the shipment. I don't I don't know what happened. We've got a Sylveon tin, an Espeon tin, and lastly, this Umbreon tin. These are pretty freaking cool, and I got two of each of them to open up here today to give you a good idea about what's inside, and also to see if we can pull that Zard or anything else from the other sets that are included. I've actually got Big A here as well today because I've decided he should be the secondary man when it comes to reviewing these. <laughs> hey, bro. Who you calling second in command? You know I'm leading the charge. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, okay. The fact of the matter is that all the booster box battles and anything like that, they take a lot of time to put up. I want to make sure that you guys are seeing this product to decide if you want to go get yours before they might run out of stock. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Big A here. You already know who I am. And if you don't know who I am, then you, you haven't been watching for very long. So welcome on into the channel. Yeah, we're going to be opening up some of these Evolution tins here. And I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. it, it this looks pretty fun. I like the way this one looks. He's, you know, he's got a little bit of yellow in there, which you know that reminds me of. Reminds me of piss. All right, gotta stay hydrated here. All right, well, anyway, Achilles, you want to go ahead and open up a box? I'll open up a box, and we'll see who gets the better pools. Works for me, bro. Before we get started, though, I am still giving away that Darkness Ablaze Elite Trainer Box. If you want to qualify to enter that, make sure you are subscribed. You have that notification bell turned on. You hit the thumbs up button for this video, and then... I'm going to have you leave a specific comment that I'll let you know about later on in the video. Do those things, you will qualify to enter. I have a previous video up from last week that you can go check out after this one. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to get a second entry. That one's pretty freaking good. You're, you're not going to want to miss it. This actually comes with five packs each, which is pretty dope. Uh, pretty good deal, honestly. Uh, I think it retails for about $25 per for one of these things. They're about five, $5 a pack if you think about it, but you also get the tin and then the promo card. Here's the uh, outside rim of the uh, V Heroes tin. It's the same on all of them. It just features all of the different evolutions for this set. And opening this up, we do have the promo card inside and they've got a pretty nice actual plastic thing. What the heck is this? I can't say I've seen one like this before. This is different than I, I recall. Maybe it's been a while since I've opened up a tin, but I don't remember them being that that nicely packed. So we have two Brilliant Stars, one Fusion Strike, an Evolving Skies, and a Chilling Rain. So that's a really, really good pack distribution. Uh, I'm glad that they finally put in like the, you know, the most recent set. They throw in two packs of that. Here's the promo card that it comes with. I really like it, especially if you look at the way that the eye kind of shines. That's pretty tight. Uh, Umbreon is one of my favorites, though, in all honesty. Here is that card. And I'm just going to go ahead and dive on into the pack. So start with uh, the Chilling Rain. We've got Rockruff, Ghastly, Lediba, Oregon, Swirlix, uh, Galarian Mask, and then an Aggron, non holographic Fire Energy. Let's do Fusion Strike. The Evolving Skies is too good of a pack to, to do all right off the bat. All right, we've got Mankey, Progunk, Grubbin, Bunny Airing, Basculin, Charge a Bug, and then a Mew V. That's pretty tight. I guess this is the regular Mew V, but I can't say that I pulled that, honestly. So, that's pretty cool. Let's do one in Brilliant Stars real quick. Grimer, Sneasel, Badoof, Electrobuzz, Chimecho, Howlucha, Boss's Orders. Garbage. Second, Brilliant Stars, Cherubi, Riolu, Starly, Spiritum, Furloin, Breloom, Breloom. Wow. Utter and complete garbage. Lastly, Evolving Skies, and then we're going to let Big A get his turn. See what happens. Flybaby, Twablu, Litleo, Chinchow, Dino, Hippopotamus, Gigalith. Wow, just total garbage. Total garbage for that tin. You know, every tin's different. You're going to have different luck when you open up yours. Somebody could get a hit potentially out of almost every pack, you know. Um, mine was not very good. We got that Mew V, which is about a $5.50 card. Nothing special, but I do like the Umbreon one, even though it is the lowest uh, cost to market value for the promos. Achilles, Achilles, Achilles. You're making it easy for me to kick your butt, per usual. Not that that's a, a surprise to anybody. But anyway, let's go ahead and see what Chilling Wang has got for me. Did you just say Chilling Wang? No, that's not what I said. That's not what I said. I said Chilling Wang. Good lord. Alright, we got coughing, which is something that you might do if you got allergies like us. 
Uh, deli Bud, which the only Deli Bud I want is a turkey sandwich, you know what I mean? Uh, Galarian Farfetch, who's looking a little bit like he needs uh, some more Pico. Looks kind of like he's not peeing a lot. Porygon, Aerocross, Expedition Uniform, and some kind of like turnip that's got legs or something. I, I don't understand what's going on there. Anyway, that, there's, nothing, there's nothing special here, apparently. Uh, I'm going to follow the same pattern that he did and do this Fusion Strike next. Because, uh, you know, it's Fusion Strike. Alright, we got Meowth here. I like the way this artwork looks. Uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, we got Dupida, which can stay way away from me. Uh, we got Vulabi, that's got some kind of diaper, egg diaper with a heart in it. We should get one of those for Annie so he doesn't have to go to the bathroom so often. We got Choodle. Oh, the failings. Isn't that what you call the people that subscribe to you over there on Twitch? You named it after this weird looking, uh, what are the, what is this supposed to be? It's so weird. <laughs> no, dude. It's a military formation that originated in ancient Greece. Oh, okay, I get it. I still don't understand what this Pokemon is supposed to be, though. That's kind of weird. Uh, we got another Dupida. I told you to stay away there, champ. Uh, Verizon Wireless, which is a pretty good, uh, you know, phone company. Um, oh, Dunsparce. I love Dunsparce. And Sharpedo, dude. Sharpedo needs some kind of cool artwork, I think. That would be sick to see in a future set. We'll see if they do it, though. What's interesting about this, I, I feel like we got the same pack art as well. I wonder if it's going to be the same pack art for each tin. We'll find out here shortly, I guess. Uh, we got Coalfish, Magmar, Electrobuzz, Aincho, Gable, Electrobuzz, Manaphy. Good lord. And uh, I don't know what the deal is here. Like, are we going to get any cards anytime soon? All right, I got my second pack here of Bullion Stars, and I hope I actually pull something for the love of Pete. And give me a little cheese. These are garbage pools so far. We got Golette, the best of man I can get. I think you like to say all the time. So I'll say it for you. Chim Chim Chimchar, Minchino, Baltoy, Snow Run, Collapse Stadium, Luxray. What, what is this? Alright, whatever. And here, the cold card. Alright, last pack for this tin. We both got garbage, but at least he's got less garbage than I got. Which is just unfair, if you ask me. There, uh, there's got to be at least one hit per pack. and put ten, right? I mean, you think there is. Uh, we got for a baby. Rock and Roll. Ducky Duck. My man. Swablu. C Dot. Low Tad. Ludicolo. Okay. I guess you can't necessarily get a decent one per ten, as we just saw. Achilles takes this one, ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not. Achilles, I hope you don't mind, man. I'm going to introduce the next 10 and open up my packs first because I got my cheese clapped. Anyway, we got Sylveon 10 here doing some frolicking, as you can see. Who knows what it's up to. Uh, the sides here look the same as the other one, as you can see. Uh, the back, it says the same exact stuff. It's basically the same 10. The biggest difference you're going to have, ladies and gentlemen, is what you've got on the outside as well as the FOMO card. So, you know, make your decisions wisely. Personally, uh, this one is a pretty cool looking dog cat thing, whatever this is supposed to be. Uh, those fangs, though, a little bit do shot for me to keep that as a pet, personally. But you know what? You guys you guys all like those those cats and stuff out there. I'm, I'm very, very wildly allergic to them. All right, so here, I'm going to take all these packs out and show you the promo card. All right, so here's your promo card for that Sylveon V. Uh, as you can see... It's doing some more frolicking through the woods or something like that, or flower field. I don't know. It looks like it's flying, which just seems like a weird superpower for such a creature. I think I think the card's a pretty good looking card. It's hard to see it with these glasses on. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, that's a pretty good looking card, I would say. Um, let's go ahead and dive into the packs, though, and don't forget about the code card for the code card nerds. All those little code card nerds out there were like, "Oh, he's not gonna show me the code card." Yeah. Well, you know what? It's one card. You would have survived without it. But I have it there for you regardless. Here you go. <laughs> Coughing. Doing... <laughs> What's he doing? Uh, we got Galeri in your mask. We got Snow Want. We got Bound Sweet. We got Cub Fu. We got uh, Celio. And we got a, a nice looking full art here of Lipud. We got Metal Energy, of course. Some Weeding Gloves. What kind of person puts gloves on to pull weeds out? Just use your hands. That's what they're for. You know, Porygon 2, and we got Kakuna. 
Uh, I think I'm going to stick to the same order that we've been doing. We got Fusion Strike here up next. Looks like we might have something in there, unless there's just some weird white thing. We got Slugma. Looks pretty hopeless. Gligar. Poofin. Pan Sage. Voltorb. They got this weird drug-looking thing going on for this one, too. We got that Phalanx. Say, what's up there, Phalanx? Are you, any of you guys watching? Are you over there on Twitch instead? Uh, Azuma Will. I guess we ain't got nothing here. And then, uh, oh, that's a cool-looking Lux here. What, what's that doing? That is that like it's poop or something? Because it, like, it's electric Pokemon and it has electric poop? Whatever. Schoolgirl. Adventures Discovery. Dude, the full art for this would have been tight. I'm just saying. I could see that character going out there and doing some like Indiana Jones stuff. All right, next up we're going to. Oh, okay. Well, I take it back. This one has different packs inside compared to the other one. Now I'd be curious to see if Achilles ends up with, uh, you know, that particular one. So if you got pack art you like, maybe we'll see if we can acquire it through these sets. All right, we got a uh, Chime Show. I wonder if there's a Chimchar behind it. Let's find out. There isn't. That's so weird. Uh, I watched a few of the videos Achilles did, and there was always a Chime Cho Chimchar, like over and over again. Looks like they uh, they're switching it up here. Flygon. Good lord. All right, Chime Cho. Is it gonna be a Chimchar? Where the hell is the Chime Cho Chimchar combo? Ball toy. We got Snow One. Oh my God, we got a double whammy back there. Snow Nose Pass. We got single strike Urshifu V Max, and oh my lord, is it what I think it is? Oh no, it's it's a shame in V, but good lord, what a pack of full art. We got two full arts in that tin. It just goes to show you sometimes you get total garbage, and other times you get good stuff. I legitimately thought we we're gonna have a Charizard there, and I was about to, to poop myself, just like uh, Annie does over there on the announcers booth all the time, but apparently I'm gonna have to settle for these cards here, which are pretty good regardless. A double whammy pack is something to be happy about. All right, let's see what we pull out of Evolving Skies. If we can get an Evolving Skies hit here, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be unbelievable. But it is, you, know, you gotta realize whenever you buy these tins, sometimes you're gonna get poo-poo butt garbage. Other times you're gonna get, you know, two full arts in a nice, uh, is that a Twina Gallery? What is this even? I don't know what you wanna call that. A golden, golden card is shit. I don't know. Eevee, Hootie Fly, Pikachu, Applin, Lillipop, Zinnia's Resolve, and a Raihan. Whoa, my lord, what a tin that was. I think I'm gonna win this tin. Uh, geez, this is what I'm talking about. You, you, you don't know what you're gonna get. Sometimes you're gonna get total garbage, like I got for my first tin. Didn't even have a single hit. Other times, you're gonna get freaking amazing cards. I mean, two full arts, and then a secret rare, and then I don't know what this qualifies as. It's in the re uh, reverse hollow slot. Ah, uh, not a character rare, a trainer gallery. It's like a gold and black card, I think they're called. Uh, the centering on this thing, by the way, is egregious, but you know what? Pretty incredible pools here. Now, make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, I'm almost positive that these aren't worth that much. We'll, we'll find out here in a moment when we look at it, but they're not like, you know, crazy Pokemon or crazy Pokemon trainers. They're probably worth a decent amount, but they're nothing to, to, to write home about necessarily. Uh, we got Single Strike Urshifu V Max. We got Shaman V Pool Art. We got Lyput V Pool Art. And then we got this Rainbow Rare Raihan. Achilles, if you manage to beat what I just pulled there, I'll be shocked. But good luck. Yeah, man, that was pretty solid. Nothing too expensive. This basically just opened itself. That's kind of weird. But yeah, we'll see what we get here. Hopefully, this will be better for both of us. We've got Craballer, Snow Runt, Weedle, Cast Form, Quillfish, Porygon 2, Doug Trio. I don't know what's going on with that, but it looks kind of weird. Fusion Strike next, of course. A lot of good cards to pull from this, actually, that I have just yet to pull. Um, I'm not sure if it'll happen, honestly. it's I have a few booster boxes of them, but they're nothing that I really want to open at this time. Sigilith, Stuffle. Growlithe, I love Growlithe, uh, Clauncher, Mankey, Dantru, and Latius. That Darkrai is sick, though. Looking forward to the uh, Darkrai stuff in the future for Astro Radiance. Delcaddy, that's a cool artwork as well. 
I mean, honestly, I've always said Fusion Strike has good artwork, but it just has way, way too many cards and just garbage pull rates. And that's really the downfall of it. So interesting to note, though, this is the exact same pack art that was included in the other Sylveon tin. So if that matters to you at all, it might be something to consider. Both of the um, both of the Umbreon tins had the same, and both of the Sylveon tins had the same pack art. So that's kind of interesting. Clink, Spiritomb, Axu, Impidimp, Magmar, Lyperd, and an RCSV. I know that bad boy is about fifteen dollars, so that's pretty cool. Water Energy Berry, Clang, Gabite, and Kokar. Second, Brilliant Stars. Hippla, Drumish, Purloin, Duskull, Sneasel, Mothin, Wormadam. Dude, Wormadam should not be in the rare slot. I guess they gotta have like a bug Pokemon in there, but if you're gonna put a bug Pokemon in there, put like Scyther, Scissor, Heracross, someone who's actually cool. Arvana, Amolga, Slackoff, Gossifle, Love Disc, Twitching Cubs, Shiftery. So I goofed up and I paused the freaking recording and didn't unpause it. I went to go check to see how much this RCSV was worth. Unfortunately, it's only worth about $12 now. It used to be worth about $15. And that puts uh, Big A in the lead by $2 in total overall value pulled so far in the video. Uh, I actually ended up pulling some pretty decent stuff, but nothing too crazy out of the tin that didn't record. I have some loose packs here, though, that I grabbed from some sleeve uh, blisters. To make up for it, one of each of the packs that would have been in there. We pulled a Greninja V, a Cynthia's Ambition Rainbow Rare, and a Sinister V. Uh, but that actually, unfortunately, doesn't count because it wasn't recording. <laughs> so I have these to make up for it. I'll let him show you the actual tin, but here is the Espeon V promo card. And I also have the Espeon V code card here for you. You'll notice I only did one of each code card. The other code card I didn't show you guys. That is because I have a bonus giveaway. It's the second time I'm telling you this because I wasn't recording the first time. But the bonus giveaway is the first three people who comment that they would like one of those code cards. Just basically say, hey, I'd love one of those code cards. First three people to do it will get to have one. The first person gets to pick any of the three. The second person gets to pick between the remaining two and the last person will get the leftover one. But I'll get you guys those code cards. It's a bonus giveaway just as a thank you for watching. Hey, Achilles, good work there, buddy. Yeah. Way to turn the recorder button back on. Yeah, that's my bad, but we have packs to make up for it. I almost went and opened up one that I was going to keep sealed, but then I remembered I had these, so might as well take advantage of them. Uh, Heracross, Seal, Atena, Rockruff, Shuppet, Passimian, and a Shadow Rider, Calyrex V. I will take it. Um, and then the rest of the stuff here. I purchased all these loose packs to do, like, uh, TikTok videos, you know, and Instagram reels and YouTube shorts and stuff like that to start doing those like maybe maybe like every other day or something like that. Um, and now I have five less of them than I would have had, but that's okay. We've got Onyx, Jigglypuff, Durant, Panseer, uh, Minun, or Minun, whatever, Mandibuzz, and a Greedent VMAX. At least we're getting some hits. Mixed up with the fact that I wasn't recording, I guess. There you go. All right, next up is Brilliant Stars. I doubt these two things are worth that much, but at least it's something. At least we're not going empty-handed after I had a decent number of hits in the actual tin itself. Clink, Dedenne, Cubchu, Duskull, Farfetch'd, Vaporeon, and then a Armadam again, dude. Such poo, poo garbage. Hitting a Trainer Gallery card is a nice reminder that Astral Radiance, even though people are kind of knocking it a little bit as far as what is included. At least it's got a trainer gallery. This is the uh, the only sets in here that have that are, you know, Brilliant Stars. And it just makes it so much more fun to open because even if you don't necessarily get a hit, you might still get something. Buffery, Badoof, Electra Buzz, Alucha, Fusel, Breloom, Star Raptor. Yeah. That is a shame. Scraggy, Hippopotas, Temple, Litleo, Eevee, Inseer, and a Lilligant. Damn. Alrighty. Alrighty. So we ended up with Shadow Rider Calor XV. Pretty freaking cool. Redent VMAX. Decently good looking card. And a Vaporeon Trainer Gallery. 
Unfortunately, had I been recording when I opened up my actual packs from the tin, I would have had a few extra dollars for my overall value, but it is what it is. Hey, Achilles, you snooze, you lose. You know what I mean? So I'll go ahead and show these folks here what we got going on with this tin. Here's the tin. Is that good enough for you? You already saw the promo card. Uh, it, it, it's a nice looking thing here. At least it doesn't have big fangs or nothing, which is pretty cool. But I'm gonna get these cards out here and open them up for you. Don't forget about that code card giveaway that he was talking about. Make sure you comment if you want that, okay? All right, we're gonna start with Chillin' Rain as his tradition. And tradition is very important, believe me. I know better than anybody. That's why I take a piss first thing in the morning is tradition. Plus, I drank a lot of water, and you gotta go when you gotta go. I happen to have to go as soon as I wake up. Like, almost, like, urgently so. Like, if I waited a minute or two too long, I would have had to, you know, pee my pants right there in my bed. It actually gets me up in the morning. You know, as you know, all of us Achilleses throughout the Achilles verse have narcolepsy, and that's my, uh, my natural alarm I created for myself. Rockworth, we got Swirlix, Lapwus, Galarian, Slowpoke, doing... Why don't you go ahead and close your legs, man? No one's trying to see that. Galarian, your mask. Justify gloves. Obama snow. Which is like a former president, of course, uh, who, who went out and played in the snow. Uh, and then we got some leaf energy here. Spiral energy, honey, and Avery. All right, we got Choodle, Phalanx, Skitty, Slugma, Gligar, Plus, Switcher, Electro, Over Squire. Okay. Ain't that like those people on your server that do stuff? They're pretty cool. Spongy gloves and Clawitzer. All right, I will point this out because I said it earlier. Uh, I know Achilles wasn't recording when when, it, when it, this was revealed for his tin, but these were not the packs that were included in his. So I think that I think the theory. Get on my face, please. I think the theory about the pack odd being the same in each one is actually debunked. Uh, I think it was the Charizard pack and the uh and the uh the other one that's a cotton ball and stuff uh so i i thought for a second there because we had two for two but now we're only two for three for as far as the pack off being the same just throwing that out there i don't want anyone going out there buying something because they thought they were going to get a specific pack on okay the pack on appears to be random and we just happen to have two of two be to be the same up to that point and when you come back you'll be like achilles I wanted this pack out and it wasn't in there. It's like, okay, well, go buy a booster box. You can get the pack out you're looking for. Imbadimp, Magma, Riolu, Burmy, Staryu. We got Muck, Ice School. And I am just getting absolutely nothing. If this guy Achilles here beats me, I'm going to be pretty upset about it. Now sit here and tell me that he can accidentally not record. And then when he actually does record, he gets less value out of that out of his pools and I'm still gonna lose. I don't like the thought of that. Not one bit. The Danny, Farfetched, Duskull, Guima, Shinx, Torkoal, Tor Tortilla Chip. Oh my lord. This is gonna go to show, to prove to you guys that if you buy these tins, you buy them because you like the way they look. You know, you like the promo card and that kind of stuff. But don't you think for a minute that there's any guaranteed pools in here We've been all over the board. One of my tins, I didn't even get a pool, right? And then uh, Achilles has gotten some out of each of his and all. But, I mean, so far, unless I get something cool here, I'm getting my, my cheeks, cheeks clapped pretty severely. We got Rufflet, Drowsy, Flabaybay, Roller, Psyduck, Zuelis, and a Moss Shadow. So, I really thought there for a moment that I was going to beat Achilles because... He didn't record when he got a better hit, but good lord. So, this is the uh, this is the proof in the pudding for you, ladies and gentlemen. If you buy these tins, there's no guaranteed hits. You know, you're gonna see some some YouTubers, some streamers out there getting crazy hits when they when they open these bad boys up. It's luck. You know, it's a luck of the draw, and you, you gotta realize here, buy it because you think it looks like pretty cool. But buy it for the promo cards. Buy it for the tin. Buy it to keep it sealed, but don't you for a second believe that you're guaranteed any hits. It's all luck, just like any other Pokemon product, uh, and you gotta keep that in mind. I would say overall, though, I like these these tins a lot. I think it depends on what your favorite evolution is. I don't know. What do you think, Achilles? It's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I like these a lot. My favorite is Umbreon. Umbreon, actually, if you just want the promo card, it's the cheapest one out there. All these promo cards are only, you know, a few bucks. So if that's all you're looking for out of this, that's what I would do. I would just buy the promo card. If you want the tin and the promo card, 
want to keep it sealed. I think it's a good purchase. I like these a lot. These were the things I was looking forward to the most out of the recent releases. But, you know, it's just luck of the draw as far as what you get. There's no guarantees, like Big A was saying. I would give this product probably an 8 out of 10 overall. Hey, Big A, I appreciate you coming on, man. Always a pleasure. He's pretty much going to be on here whenever we do a product review. And I know he wants to think that he's the uh, top Achilles, but there's only one Achilles Prime, and you already know who it is. Hey, you know what, Achilles? I won't fight you on it, but to be honest with you, I think we're all Achilles Primes in a certain way. Uh, except for... Annie, Annie's definitely not Achilles Prime. Achilles Prime wouldn't poop that much. Uh, and Biggie is not Achilles Prime either. He's just too... I don't know. He, he's just, he doesn't scream Achilles like we do. And I wouldn't say that Nugget Achilles is much of one either. I don't really think he's even an Achilles. I think he's a chicken nugget. Uh, and then also, Gloopy Gloop is pretty good, but he ain't, he ain't Achilles Prime. So really, well, I guess, I think we're both the Achilles Prime. And that's kind of where I'm at. You know with my headspace hey i appreciate you having me on brother kingdom crew always a pleasure see you later nerds yeah big a always a pleasure man i appreciate you coming on kingdom crew if you want to enter that darkness blaze elite trainer box giveaway make sure you're subscribed you have that notification bell turned on you hit the thumbs up button for this video and then last thing i'm going to have you do is just let me know in the comments what your favorite of the tins that we opened today was, and also if you plan on getting them. Do that for me, you'll have an entry for this video, and of course the link to the other video where you can get an additional entry is gonna be down in the description. I will probably have one more video out, if not two. Two if I manage to get an extra video placed out in time, but if not, just one more where you can qualify to enter. I typically do a giveaway every three weeks, uh, so you'll have at least three entries possible, sometimes four. But that is going to be it for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. Stay amazing. Good evening, everyone. My name is Durbel Achilles. I am your host today here on the Achilles News Network News Moment. And we have very, very breaking news to share with you. In fact, it's so breaking that I'm just now being informed of what it is in my earpiece. Excuse me. I have a paper towel roll to chew on in the meantime. Okay, yes, the information is as follows. Nikki Nuggets was an undercover chicken nugget cop in the Nuggetverse. He recently appeared on How to Catch a Bamboozler with Gloopy Gloop Killies, and he was, after the airing of that show, found dead in his home. And not just dead, I'm hearing. Eden. He was also Eden as well. Nicky Nuggets was found dead and Eden in his home. We went to go ask a few people on the street what they thought about Nicky Nuggets' death. Hey, sir. What do you think of Nicky Nuggets' death? Uh, no, champ. I'm good. I don't need that, uh, chewed up paper towel roll you just had in your mouth. Is that a microphone where you're from or is that, are you offering me a snack? Anyway. Uh, Nicky Nuggets, okay, it was a chicken nugget, you're saying, and, he, and he, he's found dead in Eden. Well, I got terrible news for you, champ. Uh, in the universe where I'm from, I estimate anywhere between a half a million to a million chicken nuggets are probably eaten every single day. Now, I've never looked it up, but I assume that it's somewhere in that range, if not more. But don't you think it's terrible that he left behind his six-piece chicken nugget children and his wife? Oh, he had a family. Wow, that changes uh, literally nothing for me. Okay, real quick. Uh, hamster Achilles, was that uh, Hamster Achilles? Um, the last time that you ate a steak, do you think that the cow that that steak was made from, do you think he maybe had a family? Did that stop you from eating the steak? Because it doesn't stop me. Well, I'm I'm from the gerbil burst. We, we don't eat meat there. <laughs> you know what? You a funny little koala. You almost tricked me. Okay, so Nicky Nuggets died and stuff. Uh, let me think about how I feel about that. Um, I I like to chew on uh, pa toilet paper rolls, and I also like nuts and and stuff. Wait a minute. You're serious? I'm gonna stop you right there, champ. Folks at home, I've been around the multiverse, and there's a handful of things that kind of unite what an Achilles actually is. You can call it like a fundamental Achilles quality. Um, there's a lot of variations out there. You know, you got the better looking Achilles, such as yours truly. You got that one with chicken nuggets for a face. You got that one with the gloopy gloop chin. I assume that's why they call him gloopy gloop Achilles. 
Though if it's any reason besides the shape of his chin, I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that explanation. It sounds disgusting. But anyway, I'm losing track of the main point here. There's only a handful of things that make an Achilles an Achilles, and one of those things is that an Achilles eats steaks. Now, I know you're thinking to yourself, you little koala bear, you're thinking, well, I wonder, maybe, maybe this toilet paper roll I have here could be made into a steak. That'll make me an Achilles. No, a steak is made from cows, and cows go moo. And when's the last time you saw that toilet paper roll go moo? You're either not an Achilles, or you're sneaking steaks in the back of the hamster cage while your friends are running on that little wheel and sucking on that water thing that is hilarious to watch. By the way, I had a hamster once growing up, and I, I used to watch it drink out of that water thing, and it was so cute. <laughs> it was funny. Now, don't get me wrong, ladies and gentlemen. If Susie Q over here or little Timmy, if they want to be a vegan or a vegetarian, they are welcome to do so. Honestly, I support you. In fact, if you want to right now, grow your neck out real long and eat the leaves off of that tree like a brontosaurus. Honestly, that'd be kind of cool to watch and I support it, okay? But what I do not support is the notion, the suggestion that there's an Achilles out there that defies one of the fundamental Achilles qualities, which is steak eating. Okay, champ, so here's what I'm gonna have you do. You a little hedgehog, why don't you scurry out of here like Sonic? Because I am sick of your face. I find you what you're saying to be morally repugnant. And if I even see you in the same universe as me ever again, I'm going to speak to my lawyer and get a restraining order. Why don't you go interview with one of those Achilles that has lower standards? We're going around asking people what they think about Nicky Nuggets' death. What do you think about it, sir? Hmm. I'm really not sure what to think about it. Sir, are you are you eating chicken nuggets right now? Mm-hmm. Nikki Nuggets leaves behind a loving wife, Nikita Nuggets, as well as their six-piece chicken nugget children. We have a very special memorial video to show you here to showcase and remember his legacy. You're in the arms of the angel. May you find some comfort here. You're in the arms of the angel. May you find some calm, some comfort here. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs>